Anyway, today on Fail to Learn, I'm going to build this. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to heat it up to temperature, trying to cure it. And I'll give you a review about it when I'm done. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Although I wouldn't normally do that if I was using a form. chose not to use a form so you guys can just see this kind of take shape and I regret this extra effort is not worth it Okay, I'm gonna let this harden up a little bit so I can work, put some more on top. I'm gonna get this done maybe about two or three more batches. This is three right here. I wanna get it done in maybe two more. So I'm gonna double up the thickness of this at least. stuff is actually quite crumbly, see? But when packed down, it comes a lot harder. how crumbly this is before you pack it. 
It's really what it is because it's really, really dry. I had a little bit of extra, so I made a little mound here around the pipe. And that should be it. We'll see how this looks in a couple hours. This will be our favorite part. This should slide right out. I lied. Before this cured, I was able to slide this back and forth. But now that's hardened, nearly impossible. Ripped it apart. Got a big chunk of it here. I'm gonna have to be more careful with the rest. Big chunk of the wood missing. Honestly, I am shocked. I was sliding this in and out before it fully cured. Maybe it contracted a little when it cured.
paper should burn right out of there. Perfect. 13 minutes to pull it out. Okay. I don't want to cause any unnecessary curing. I'm going to let this cure out and then I'm going to light it up. I placed it on the scale. We'll just go with the 33.9. That's 33.9 pounds. I'm going to let it cure a little bit and see if it gets a little bit lighter. <clears throat> All I'm doing here is a nice weak burn to get it started. I'm gonna let it burn like this for quite a few minutes. That paper actually still lines the entire thing. It's a little frustrating because I thought it would burn away. But I guess the uh, sodium silicate absorbed into the paper, making the paper far more fire retardant. Give it a little boost. Pipe still cool, top of it still cool. Now I know I'm running propane inside, which is okay. We use propane heaters all the time to heat our buildings when we're working construction, when the house is being remodeled. So this is actually fine. I do have the window open with the fan blowing out. So there's no risk of carbon monoxide or anything like that from propane. If you look really closely, there's some sort of liquid starting to ooze out of it. So here's the plan. I'm going to wet my hands and then place this brick on top as a little doorway. Because I can't get the other one to stand upright. Let's see if it works. Uh, no. Thirty minute mark, you can hear me. It's all orange, but the back side is not. Ever since I lost the bridge. I was 
hearing loud pop noises. It was coming from the board underneath. Underneath it is completely turning black. I should have learned my lesson from the picnic table. I didn't. Now I'm getting this underneath it. That was hot. Already turning red.
even though you can kind of like see a seam, and you, because I uh, did the bottom plate two days later, I mean two days earlier, when I uh, try to clean up the face here, you'll notice there's really no seam from the bottom plate to the newer stuff up top. See? So even though it looks crumbly and the outer surface might look like it's done in different portions, like even here where I layered the second half on top after, when I crack it open, you can't tell where the seam is. See, no seam lines. Although, I do have a crack here. I got one crack here. And it blasted these parts off where the blisters are. There's a couple more blisters in the back. A couple hours later, still radiating a ton of heat. Really excruciatingly hot on the surface. It wasn't even hot when it was running. It must have slowly traveled to the outer sides and now the the only crack I saw was right here. And to be honest, I think it was because I placed it on this and this was popping off. Because I had at one point a brick here and it was forcing the heat down onto here which was making this crack and blister which I think caused this to occur. Not too sure, but it does look like it originated from the ground up, which is reverse of where it should have been. It should have been from up top, down, if it was going to crack. That's in pounds. This is our new weight. Got it on the scale. It, well, it used to be, what, 33 point something. I forgot. But it's lost about 4 pounds since I dried it. Here this is. Nice. Got a close up for you. I got a small cracks in locations. It held up pretty good. You should expect some cracks on the first burn. But to be honest, if you just skip to the end to find out if this is worth making, no. It is not worth making. The water glass takes an hour per batch. There's about eight batches in here. That's ridiculous amount of time. I only did two batches a day because it was bad for my health, even though I had the fan and the mask, and it's still bad for my health, risky to play with. I wouldn't recommend it. If you have to use a cement, buy it. It's actually a little cheaper to make it, just a little bit, but the time it takes isn't cheaper at all. Not if you value your time, which I kinda do. This might not even last 20 burns. It's something that will probably start crumbling in time. The kale wool is the best item out there. I think it's like ceramic fibers. That is just the best way to go. A lot of people like to sell their cement saying it's the best. So you have to watch a video three or four or five times. If you ever ask one of those people that made a video about their cement and if it's held up, they probably don't respond or they don't do a follow-up video. Any follow-up videos they do, they'll say they're upgrading to the kale wool. But if they would have used the kale wool in the first place, they wouldn't have to upgrade. The kale wool is the kale wool is just as available as their high temp cements that they bought. And probably cheaper. The applications for this would be a fire pit outside would be good for gluing other bricks together as a motor. It would be great as a motor. As far as high temperature burning and melting and forging, kale wool, definitely kale wool. When you spend like 10 hours making it, probably get 10 hours worth of use. Don't get me wrong, it actually held up pretty well on the first burn. I just personally believe it's not going to go past 10 burns or 20 burns. 
I haven't really taken it to that failing point yet. I would actually have to put it into use. And I'll give you a follow-up video if it does crumble. I'll let you know. But I think the most reliable way, the cheapest way, the quickest way, kill wool. That's it.